Hi everybody, I'm uh, Dr. Rashmi Vaidya. I'm a breast surgical oncologist working at Ironwood Cancer Research Centers and I'm here today to uh, talk a little bit about neoadjuvant therapy in breast cancer. What is neoadjuvant therapy? You know, that's a great question. Um, I think most people know that um, all cancers are treated with multimodality therapy meaning uh, we use surgery, we use chemotherapy, mm -hmm. we use radiation and sometimes anti-hormonal therapy uh, based on the type of cancer and uh, the stage of the cancer sometimes because each of these work in different ways to not just treat the cancer but to uh, make sure that we maximize the odds that it doesn't come back. What? Neoadjuvant therapy is when we use treatments such as chemotherapy or anti-hormonal therapy before surgery in order to try to shrink the tumor so that we can do a smaller, more cosmetic operation or sometimes mm -hmm. in the case of breast cancer be able to change the surgery from needing to do a mastectomy which is removal of the whole breast to doing a smaller operation called a lumpectomy where we only need to remove the cancer with a rim of normal tissue around it. What are the types of neoadjuvant therapy? So there are different types of neoadjuvant therapy, specifically neoadjuvant chemotherapy where we use chemotherapy drugs that we would normally have uh, administered to the patient after surgery we use those up front before surgery to try to shrink the tumor to be able to do a more cosmetic surgical procedure. The other type is neoadjuvant anti-hormonal therapy where in tumors which are highly sensitive to estrogen or progesterone, which are hormones in our body, uh, we consider these cancers to be driven by these hormones. In those patients, we could use anti-hormonal therapy, in other words, medicines that shut down these hormones, thereby depriving the cancer of um, agents that allow it to grow and thereby shrinking it. So there's neoadjuvant chemotherapy and neoadjuvant endocrine therapy or anti-hormonal therapy. Which breast cancer patients benefit from neoadjuvant therapy? Studies have shown that uh, tumors which are between 2 centimeters or 10 centimeters uh, in size benefit the most from neoadjuvant therapy for breast cancer. The reason is that these are the sizes where we could benefit from significant reduction in the size of the tumor to allow a change in the type of surgery or sometimes just even the extent of surgery to do a better cosmetic procedure based on the size of the breast or as we call it the tumor to breast ratio. There are different kinds of breast cancer patients that benefit from neoadjuvant therapy. Uh, the most benefit uh, that studies have shown has been in certain biological types of breast cancer such as triple negative breast cancer or HER2 positive breast cancer. These, these patients benefit from neoadjuvant chemotherapy um, significantly um, and we see a very significant reduction in the size of the tumor. Some of these patients um, will see a complete disappearance of the tumor on um, imaging such as mammogram, ultrasound or MRI which we do during the follow-up in the chemotherapy. The most benefit that studies have shown has been in tumors which are between sizes of 2 and 10 centimeters because these patients will see the most benefit from a size reduction that would allow a change in surgery from perhaps needing mastectomy at the time that they presented with the cancer to then being able to do a surgery such as a lumpectomy which would be more cosmetic and more amenable to the patient after having taken neoadjuvant chemotherapy. In the case of older patients who are unable to tolerate neoadjuvant chemotherapy, provided that their tumor biology is susceptible to it, we could give them anti-hormonal therapy, mm -hmm. which is less toxic and which over a course of four, six, perhaps even a longer course of nine months, is able to shrink the tumor 
enough to allow us to do a smaller operation which would be less morbid for the patient. What kind of outcomes can we expect after neoadjuvant therapy? The outcomes that we can expect are varied, again depending so much on tumor biology. So as we mentioned before, in the patients that have triple negative breast cancers or HER2 positive breast cancers, these patients usually see a dramatic response with neoadjuvant chemotherapy and oftentimes at the time of surgery, there is no viable tumor or living cancer cells in the breast. Um, we call that a pathologic complete response. And in patients that have a pathologic complete response, both in the breast and in the lymph nodes in that armpit, um, they do have a, a significant difference in how long they live and how long they live without the cancer coming back. It's not a very a large percentage of patients that will have the pathologic complete response, but when they do have it, it does mean a benefit. Overall, neoadjuvant therapy has not been shown to change the survival from the cancer. So in other words, whether you have chemotherapy before surgery or after surgery does not change in the number of years you can expect to live after having had that particular cancer. However, it could change your quality of life and your body image if you would only have had a certain choice of surgery such as a mastectomy if you did surgery up front versus if we were able to shrink the tumor with either chemotherapy or anti-hormonal therapy to a smaller size where you could have a lumpectomy. So there are many exciting possibilities with neoadjuvant therapy, be it chemotherapy or anti-hormonal therapy and the decisions for this sort of thing need to be made in a multidisciplinary setting with surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, perhaps even plastic surgeons who can join in to discuss the best possible surgery that could be done for the patient after such neoadjuvant therapy.